Welcome to Chopstick Travel, I'm Luke Martin and today we have another episode from Vancouver Island, Canada. Besides being one of the naturally most beautiful places in the world, Vancouver Island is also a world-class fishing destination. So today we're meeting up with Peter from Coastal Blue Adventures to go out on the boat, catch some Pacific salmon. We're gonna do a catch and cook, so later we're gonna take the salmon back to the house and cedar plank it, traditional Canadian style. This is gonna be our first time ever salmon fishing. So let's go meet up with Peter from Coastal Blue Adventures, get on the boat, and go catch yourself some salmon. Let's go. So I'm here with Peter with Coastal Blue Adventures. We're heading out for a fish today. Where exactly are we right now? We're in Nanaimo. We're in the uh, Departure Bay Harbor area and okay. we're going to head out straight out front. Okay, so what are we targeting today? We're going to go after some Chinook that are still around and they're pretty big right now. So if we get one, it's going to be a, a really good time. Right on, yeah. And there's also coho salmon and might get a link on. Okay, sounds good. We got beauty day, so let's get on the boat and go fish. So Sabrina, how are you feeling about your first Salmon fishing experience. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I don't know what to expect, so I'm just happy that Peter's gonna be coaching us through the whole thing, and it's a gorgeous day. Yeah, I'm really beautiful. excited. What do you use this for? Ball brings our hook to where we think the fish will be. Oh, okay. And we use this. So there's a bunch of fish at about 150, about 250. So these are the fish right here. These little those marks. So that marks. yellow is bottom. Okay. Yeah. That's fish. That's fish. Okay. It's 250 feet deep. So salmon um, like to have an attractant, so which is that called that flasher. Okay. And this is an artificial bait. It's a rubber bait. We call this style of bait a hoochie. So if we're not catching salmon, what else might, might we hook? Halibut, lingcod, rockfish, shark. There's a whole mixture of okay. cool creatures down and there. What, what is the biggest salmon you've ever caught? I caught 48 a few years ago. 48 up north. pounds? Yeah, yeah, 48 pounds Chinook. Wow. Let's try a little deep. So we're basically waiting for this rod to start moving. Okay, so this one's all set. This one's set. Okay, so we've got this rod over here with the artificial lure, and then over here we're gonna bait this one up. So what do we got for bait here? So these are anchovies. Anchovies, yeah. Anchovies. And we have, uh, a, they put them in a, a rig called a teaser head, and this whole thing is called an anchovy rig. Okay. And I rig these myself. All right, we're all set up. Ready, Sabrina? Yep, I'm ready. I think it got off. Got off. But because it's bait, we gotta check it. Okay. I'll let you reel it in. Okay. You feel any pull? Uh, no. Nice. So we actually ate one of these the other day at uh, Taco Fino in Tofino. They make their tacos with them. So not a salmon, link cod, but uh, I guess it's a good sign, right? Yes, it is. All right. So if you look at the little fish finder here, we've got these bait balls uh, of herring, schools of herring, and that's what the salmon likes, so that's really good news for us. Feels the same as the link on. 
another one? Yeah. I don't think it's a salmon though. So we actually pulled up uh, rockfish this time. Second species, different species. Not a salmon yet, but, oh cool. Check that out. You have to be very careful with these. Oh, yeah, these are full of spikes that hurt a lot. Can you eat these? Oh yeah, it's a little bit small though. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, they're very tasty. Okay. So Peter tells me we have a shaker on the line, which is a small salmon. So Serena is bringing in the shaker. <laughs> you think it got anything? I think it shook itself loose. Feels pretty light coming in. <laughs> no, I don't think you have any. <laughs> Damn. So we've got a lingcod, we got the rockfish, rock and then we got a little shaker, yeah. but uh, he got off shaker early. Chinook. Yeah. Shaker is a little baby chinook, so. It's just an appetizer for what's to come. <laughs> We're about to get a big one, I know. <laughs> Peter's got one. No. He's no. Off. He's off. Oh. oh. Okay, we just got something else on. Yeah. Oh no, it's a ling or rockfish. Maybe not a ling. So we're still hoping for a big salmon. We've had a couple bites. Uh, we're patiently waiting, but it could not be any more beautiful out here. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's so hot. The weather's beautiful. The water's calm. Love it. Come on, baby. Yeah, it's been on. happening. Can see how it's running? Yeah. You want that, okay? Okay. If it's running, let it go. Okay. You got two on. Oh. This is just a little one now. Okay. I'll just go nice and easy, okay? Okay. Okay, looks like we got something. Oh, oh. it's a lake on. Oh. That's good. I think it's a lake on. You can use this thing. Okay. Reel right up. Pull, 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 up, pull, up, pull, up. Yeah, he's going to be around 63 centimeters. Wow. Well, that was a nice little fight, but yeah. we're going to have to keep going. Sam. Yeah. 63. So they have to be 65 to keep them. Yeah. Yeah, these guys are good eating too, but... Amazing, yeah. Well, let's we'll measure let one go. more, just in case. I don't know, this is close, guys. 60 warts in there. <laughs> no salmon, a couple baby ones, a couple big fish. We had uh, some big bites, but unfortunately, they swam away. But that's okay, that's what fishing's all about. But we got to spend a beautiful day out here on the water. It was gorgeous. back on solid land. Oh, that was a lot of fun. Peter was kind enough to give us a little bit to take home, finish off our recipe. Thank you so much, man. 
So not quite a catch and cook, but we did catch something and we are gonna cook something. Yep. Thank you again to Peter. Right now it's a little bit slow in the salt water. So actually in a couple days, we're gonna try again in the river for some salmon, for some Chinook. But uh, let's take this back and then tomorrow we'll pick up with you and cook our cedar plank salmon. Yeah. So that was a great day of fishing yesterday with Peter. Unfortunately, we weren't able to hook a salmon, but luckily for us, Peter was kind enough to actually give us some fish that he caught himself. So we've got a Chinook that he caught in September 2020, and we've also got a big chunk of ling cod. And we're gonna cedar plank both of these traditional Canadian style at the barbecue. We're just back at our Airbnb here in Nanaimo. We're hungry, so let's cook these fish up. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is soak your cedar planks. We soaked ours overnight in water you can also use wine and you just want to do this because you're gonna be putting them in the barbecue and you don't want that wood catching on fire so I've got them in here and I've actually just put a pot full of water to keep them underneath and we're gonna take this pot outside with us just in case we have a fire and we've got our two cedar planks under here nice and soaked and these are gonna help that salmon kind of grill and bake at the same time in the barbecue and it's gonna give it a nice smoky flavor oops kind of dripping on the ground. First thing we're gonna wanna do is start the barbecue and I'm gonna set it at a medium high heat because we're gonna kind of bake this thing too. We have a simple set of ingredients to make the rub for our cedar plank salmon. So we've got olive oil, we've got salt and pepper, and then we've got some Cajun spice and brown sugar. So no exact measurements, but I've got about a half a cup of brown sugar about a teaspoon of Cajun spice, just a pinch of salt, and then we're gonna put some freshly cracked pepper as well. Give it a couple spins. Then I'll give this just a little light mix, and that's gonna make a nice rub for our salmon. We've got our Chinook on the cedar plank, which has been soaking overnight, and we've left the skin on. It should peel right off after, and I'm gonna start with some olive oil on top here and then I'll just give that a little rub in. Next up is the rub and I'm gonna generously coat that salmon and then just give it a little wipe to spread around with the spoon. It's okay if some places are uneven because it's gonna kind of melt and caramelize on top of that salmon. So the reason I've got it on this baking tray is because when we take out the cedar plank, it's gonna be burnt on the bottom. You don't want that going everywhere. So the barbecue has been preheated. Take the cedar plank and just hear that sizzle. And we want to actually kind of bake it, so we're gonna keep it closed. You really don't want to overcook salmon, especially not beautiful wild caught Chinook like this. So we're just going to have it go for about five or six minutes. I'll be checking on it, but while we wait, we're just going to take in the breathtaking views of Departure Bay where we were fishing just yesterday. Okay, we're going to give it a quick check. I can already smell that cedar plank. Oh man. That looks beautiful. Oh, I think it's done. Look at that beauty. Okay, let's take this out of here very gently. Oh, we've got a little bit of a flame on the side. And that's just gonna help infuse that cedar smoke. That looks incredible. So that was just a few minutes in the barbecue on medium high and this looks so good. Check this out. You can see that that cedar plank kind of burnt here along the bottom and this should just, oh man, flake away off the skin. Look at that. That is beautiful. It smells of smoke and caramelized brown sugar. You still get those little granules of brown sugar on the top, giving it kind of a crunch. You can feel that kick from the Cajun spice and then it's just smoky from that cedar plank. And the cedar plank also kind of helps it to keep all of those juices inside. That is a meaty salmon. You can tell that that is wild caught because it's just got something special about it that makes it taste just that much better. Going for one more bite here. Look at that, beautiful. And you can see it came right off the skin there. 
Sabrina's turn to try. That is so good. All right. <laughs> Oh my god. That is so good. It's so sweet on the top. Mm. So let's take a bite off of this section without ruining it. Ooh. <laughs> wow, it comes right off the skin. There we go. Mm. That rub that's on top almost tastes exactly like a very sweet barbecue sauce. That's amazing. We're just destroying this salmon. It is so good to eat it right off the cedar plank like this. Oh man. Mm. And a little secret, this is our first time ever cooking it. <laughs> so it's really not that hard of a recipe. No, you not You just at need all. some good salmon. Yep. So you can see that that cedar plank has burnt underneath and kind of warped. You do want it to blacken like that to an extent, but if you let that go, it will start a fire, but that's also what's giving it such a nice smoky flavor. Next up is the lingcod. So this is a white fish and we're going for a little bit of a different recipe for the cedar plank. We're gonna use the olive oil, the salt, the pepper, a little bit of garlic powder and lemon. So it's gonna be a nice savory mix. Let's get cooking. So the first ingredient is the olive oil and I'm gonna give that a nice healthy sprinkle of olive oil. All right, next up. Pepper. We're just gonna sprinkle some on to taste. As much or as little as you like. I like a little bit of extra. The salt. We don't need too much. Sprinkle that on top. Okay. And then just a little bit of garlic powder. This stuff's really strong. You do not want too much. The best part is squeezing all that lemon juice on top. So be very, very generous. And that is going to be awesome. All right, it's time for the ling cod to go in. Pop it right down on the barbecue. Voila. And close that lid. And we're gonna wait about 10 to 15 minutes. We're gonna check on it in 10 minutes. How good does that cedar smell? It's like a sweet bonfire smell. It smells really nice. We got these uh, planks at uh, just a local lumber store, so really easy to get your hands on it. You it can smells hear it crackling. Amazing. Yeah, I think it's gonna be good. Let's take a peek. Okay. Oh, mama. Oh, we got a little bit of a fire. Should we blow that out? Oh no. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, water. Put a little bit on that. Oh, yeah, don't do that. Jumping, Jesus. <laughs> okay. just close it. So if you actually have a fire, you should take it out completely and submerge it in water. Don't sprinkle water on top of it like we just did. Jumping, Jesus. <laughs> do you want to do the honors of opening the barbecue for me? <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's get the bad boys out. Okay guys, check out this ling cod. The cedar plank is crisping up. I can even hear it crackling still. This looks beautiful and perfect to me. I'm really excited to try it. We caught a ling cod on the boat. We did release it. Um, so it's the same type of fish, but this is the one that Peter gave us. And I'm gonna drizzle some extra lemon on it. Oh my. Just over the whole thing, Luke, is that fine? Yeah. All right, let's go in for a bite. Uh, right here. Oh, I heard that cedar plank just crackling. <sighs> nice white fish. Mm -mm. Let's give it a try. Oh my God. Oh my God. That is good. Mm. Better than salmon? Mm. The fish is really firm on the outside. It's a little bit smoky. Peppery, nice and sour. Oh my gosh, that is perfect. I love it. Can't be better than salmon, is it? Salmon's my favorite fish um, and tuna, but mm, I don't know. This is pretty bomb. So you can see where we had our little fire hazard and can you see the bottom of that? Should be nice and black. Oh yeah. 
Is that burnt underneath there? Yeah, that's pretty burnt. I wasn't planning when we started this video to do the cedar plank lingcod, but we caught one on the boat. We didn't catch the salmon, but Peter hooked us up with some of both. So we figured we should try it. Sabrina says it's good, so. Oh, no. Mm. That garlic powder on there with the lemon. Yum. Okay, let's destroy this. Okay. <laughs> Look at how easily, oh, geez, <laughs> the lingcod just falls right off of its skin. I could even argue that this one is smokier than mm -hmm. the salmon. Mm -hmm. I yeah. think it's just because it cooked a little longer. Mm -hmm. And we had a little fire going on the top. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's not too bad of a thing to have a small fire. Exactly. Oh yeah, Nanaimo bar. So we're here in Nanaimo, Vancouver Island. There's nothing better to have for dessert than the world famous Nanaimo bar. I grew up eating these and this is my first time to Nanaimo so it only seemed appropriate. So we've got this graham cracker bottom with coconut. Then there's this custard butter on the inside and then chocolate on the top. And these are super famous Canada. Let me know if you've ever heard of Nanaimo bars outside of Canada. And let me know if you've tried them down below. Yeah, they're really rich, but I like the coconut. Here's one tip about Nanaimo bears. They're more fresh if that butter on the inside is yellow. If it starts to turn really white, like pearly white, then it's less fresh. Mm. Wow, I'm really impressed at how well that turned out. <laughs> I know, I am too. <laughs> Both of those dishes were incredible, and fishing earlier today was awesome. I am a little bit disappointed we didn't catch the salmon, but stay tuned because we're going to give it another try in the river. It's supposed to be a little bit better in the river right now, but big, big thank you to Peter from Coastal Blue Adventures for taking us out. Even though we didn't catch the salmon, it was still an incredible day, and bringing in the link cod was fun enough. Yeah. Let us know what... Uh, recipe looked better to you. Was it Link God or was it the salmon? Was it Sabrina or Luke? <laughs> Let us know down, Boat down in below. the comment box. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell icon so you're notified and we'll see you on the next episode of Chopstick Travel. Bye. Bye.